Time now to take our monthly look at the wool market. Joining me now is Grant Edwards, GM of PGG Rights and Wool. And Grant, how is the market looking out there at the moment? Good afternoon. Afternoon, Rowena. Yeah, unfortunately, we've seen a softening in the wool market right across all wool types um, in the last sort of three to four weeks, which is, you know, it's concerning for the industry and, and it's certainly not helping the prices out there to grow us. What's happening overseas that may be influencing how the wool market's looking at the moment? Key to it, Rowena, is the currency. Uh, the New Zealand dollar uh, versus the Americans strengthened three and a half to four cents since we last spoke. And from that point of view, we sort of reuse rule of thumb one cent's worth about 10 cents. And I guess it's like fuel only the opposite. So when we see the currency going up, it affects it immediately. Uh, but when the currency does come off, it doesn't appear to affect it straight away. But uh, those strengthenings in the, in the dollar are certainly doing that, and it's driven uh, by those trade tariffs that America are imposing on China, 25% trade tariff around yarns, etc. from a wool perspective, which um, has created a lot of uncertainty uh, in the total marketplace. Yeah, completely understandable there. Now, yesterday you had something pretty exciting happening at day two of the Canterbury show, the New Zealand Agricultural Show, a live wool auction. How did it go? Uh, it's, a, it's a great promotion of our auction system, uh, yeah, which is the, the main vehicle for transferring um, ownership of wool, Rowena. This is the third year we've done it. Uh, we had a full bench of buyers. Uh, it promotes that option. We've got uh, a lot of growers and a lot of farmers themselves and a lot of general public come along to watch and can see the, the professionalism around an auction, the auction system. In five hours yesterday, uh, we transferred the ownership of just on $7 million worth of wool. So it's certainly uh, there's a lot of professionalism around it, as I say, and um, it was great to be able to take it to the show again and promote it where farmers and the general public can see how it operates. Yeah, something different, uh, really interesting. Hey, uh, just finally, you recently attended the Wool Research AGM. What did you take away from this? Uh, I was certainly encouraged by it, Rowena. Um, Dr Garth Carnaby, who's been key in, in wool research uh, for a number of years, has come back into um, working with that organisation and the deconstruction of the of the general wool fibre. One thing that he did promote right at the start was in, in the crossbred scene where we're really, um, it, it's tough out there, it's very tough out there in, in the marketplace um, where a lot of our crossbred wools goes into carpets. You know, he reminded us of back in the, the 60s where crossbred wool was generally used for um, garments next to skin and becomes extremely itchy and there was a lot of pressure on the market at that time and then all of a sudden um, woolen carpets came along and, and the demand for crossbred wools increased accordingly. I think the, the thing that he's, promo- he's um, promoting from that point of view is that there's a, an opportunity for crossbred wools um, within the, the carpet uh, market itself or around that biodegradable sustainability, uh, synthetics versus natural products um, and, and the health issues created from those synthetic products. Uh, so there's that opportunity, but also the deconstruction of the fibre. They can uh, turn a 30 micron um, fibre into into eight, so it can soften down into into those softer garments. Um, you can, they can deconstruct it right down into a powder, which has got significant health issues. It's very fine. It's very soft. And then we also had uh, Lanico presenting there, who you will have seen in the media recently in regard to the uh, filters and. Um, uh, so there's a lot of opportunity there. There's a lot of time, effort being put into it, and it, it was very encouraging from my perspective. Yeah, that's really good to hear. Grant Edwards, GM of PGG Rights and Wool, thanks so much for your time on the country today. Thanks very much, Rowena.